play a little Xbox. Hi guys and girls, it's me Mr. Orthopedia with another episode of Walk Me Through. I'm sorry if I haven't been recording for a while. I only have, I only brought one HDMI cable with me. The last few videos you've seen was me bitching about the, uh, Thinking about that adapter that I got five months ago and having to replace it while I'm on holiday. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I take it there's some really poor weather outside because the internet's kind of going slow for some reason. Either somebody's eating away all the bandwidth or... I think it might be the weather. It is kind of cloudy outside, and cable companies ultimately use, yeah, cable companies ultimately use satellites to broadcast. And they send the signal to the homes by cable, which includes the internet. So, anyway, enough of my ranting and raving like a lunatic. I'm going to look for Minecraft and play. Hey, I always wanted to try mine forever. Minor forever. I'll try that later. Oh, anyway, oh, it's an indie game. Well, let's play some Minecraft. And I want to show you this new world that I made. It's going to be fun. I think. And there are some mutts behind me. Xbox Live. Alrighty. What we're going to do, we're going to play a little Minecraft. Yeah, I'm going to turn down the TV so the mic won't pick it up. I should have just turned on the noise cancellation feature. Yeah, I'm playing on my little cousin's Xbox 360. Yeah, the reason why... <laughs> I was just too lazy ass to rename the world. I don't think you can. Uh, you know, I don't think you can rename it. Oh well. So, the world I want to show you is something that I was inspired to make because of a few videos of abandoned places that I've seen. Recently, I've seen a video of an abandoned orphanage, and what really inspired me to build this orphanage, even though it's not quite finished yet. What inspired me to make this orphanage was, yes siree, another church. That's right, I made a church. Another world with a church in it. Of course I didn't, I didn't think to put it on peaceful mode, but as you can see, I have a whole bunch of glowstone as chandeliers with, yes, yes, more glowstones on the ceiling. And what's holding these glowstones up are these fence posts. Yeah. So. So. And like before, the pews are made out of steps. Not just any steps, mind you. Like any kind of wooden steps. Okay. I'm not sure what these blue things are called, but I thought they would have could. But, uh, but these... But these blocks here are redstone blocks, and the cauldron here is, of course, the baptismal font. Now, in some of the churches that I've visited in real life, I've seen these little openings right behind the altar, right where the tabernacle should be. I wasn't quite sure what's behind those, so what I did was put a place here for the organ. Yeah, I made an organ out of... Only, yeah. yeah, I made an organ out of bricks, steps, the seat for the player to sit, and iron bars used as the pipes. Though I'm not exactly sure if that's where, if that's where those two doorways behind the altar lead. I don't know. For those of you who go to church, somebody tell me what's actually behind those little pockets behind the altar. So in any way, we have the upstairs, which is where I'm assuming the children in the orphanage sit. So, yeah. 
I don't want to leave the door open. Now again, this orphanage isn't exactly finished. Now I have parts of it that I haven't finished off. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what these blue blocks are called. Oh well. Now here is the children's confessional. And I forgot to put glass panels. Uh, with the recent update, you can actually make stained glass windows now. So, yeah. So what I'm gonna do... You can actually see I used a bunch of glowstones in the shape of, of a... Yeah, I can't talk. Yeah, I didn't think to put stained glass windows there. Oh well. So, the first thing I'm gonna show you in the orphanage is, of course, the children's dormitories. Ages 3 to 7. I haven't put beds in them yet. Now I did a lot more work on this side than I did on the other side. I didn't even put beds here. Uh, another child's room. So this door is the boys' bathroom. Well, with cauldrons filled with water used as sinks. And of course, we have a seat that can be used as a toilet. I didn't know, really know how to make a toilet, to be honest. And here is the actual bathroom where children need to take a bath or a shower. And of course I filled it with water and I lowered it some. I did the same thing on the second floor, which was a bit of a challenge, and it's kind of dripping. I don't know why I did that. I'll show you what it looks like on the second floor in a little bit. Now. Here we have the girls' bathing room, again with the same feature. I didn't think to put six in there. And here Dude, is the girls', girls lavatory. Bathroom. And on the first floor, they only have one toilet. And I, again, have the rest of the place sealed off by blue blocks here. Not exactly sure what they're called, though. Yeah, because I'm not quite done with it. I didn't even put any beds. So I lit the way with glowstones again. And before I started building this, I was like, why do orphanages have, why do most orphanages have churches? I'm not exactly sure what I made this. Okay, so I didn't put any lights there. I sealed off the girls' lavatory on the second floor because I'm not quite done with it. So let me go ahead and and continue on with the build here. Now this one has one regular stall with a handicap stall right next to it. So Dude, let me you're go ahead bathroom. and... Uh, oh, it's lapis lazuli blocks. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is add some cauldrons here so they can be the sinks. And I'll just fill them up with water. So what I'm going to do is, uh, oh, I should have put it on my menu here. I'm going to put some, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to put some wooden toilets. I'm gonna replace the glowstone for a bit. I'll re-equip it later. Put a toilet here, toilet here. Now again, I don't have the, yeah. Let me go ahead and put some doors here for privacy. Yeah. And let me add a door here. There, that's better. Now let's do the same thing for the boys' lavatory. You know what? I think, shit. I think I should just put two stalls in here on the second floor as well. Put some, yeah, put some steps here so it could be the toilet. Another toilet here. In the bathroom! Sorry, I just couldn't help it. Three more cauldrons here. 
Yeah, you're gonna see me build some more of the orphanage in this video. I just wanted to show you some part of what I've done so far and then continue with the build. Now if we look in here, again we have another bathtub, another bathing pool here. This is the boys bathing room and this is the girls. What I ought to do is put some glowstones. I'll do that later. Now, this, this corridor here, I'm actually meaning for it to be the convent. Or something. Of course, I'm going to make the convent a separate building, so yeah. have a look at the other side so I won't mess up. Now again we're right on top of the confessional. I actually meant this to be the side door outside but I guess I guess you can't really do that. There wasn't I didn't think things through when I was building the church. I mean I started work on the church before I left home so yeah. What I'm going to do This is for children with Down Syndrome I'm going <sighs> to Oh shit Yes, I know it's a dick move for me to do But You know what I'm going to put some uh, I don't know Let's see I think I'll put some iron bars That's my cousin Captain Flappy Pants again. <laughs> Let's go ahead and break these blocks. I don't know why I put iron bars there. I guess I was just being an ass. Okay, will you cut out with the animal rape jokes? I did not say bestiality. here then. Shit. 
Oh, for fuck's sake. I just couldn't think of anything else to say. Put a put a block here. I'll add some more glowstones later. I feel your pains. <laughs> okay, that wasn't funny. What I'm actually going to do is put a bunch of bathrooms on this side with one shower stall. I'll do that later. Well, how does this look so far? So far, so good, right? Let's cut this thing down to size. You will die. You will die, motherfucker. Seriously, why do orphanages have to always have churches? I... Oh, wait, speaking of which... You know, I should have showed you this sign earlier. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for it, too. Oh, shit. Lazuri stone. Yeah. Let's do the same thing for the other floor. this lazuri stone again. Oh, for fuck's sake! Really? 
Oh, how did you get in here? Die, you unholy beast. I will banish you to the depths of hell in which you came. Die, motherfucker. Oh, I shouldn't swear. In the church. Well, in an orphanage, really. It's still considered a holy place. You can't swear in a church. Man. I meant to put it here. No. That's better. Now... Now let's add... Actually build a bathroom. Since this is going to be a boy's bathroom, it's going to be blue. It's going to have blue floor. I'll add the uh, shower place elsewhere. Let's use some lapis stone. Lapis Missouri stone. Put some bricks here. Oh, shit. No. And add a bathing room again. I can't dig any deeper though, because I tried to build a basement for this church, and since this is a very level, plain, flat zone, it's pretty much close to bedrock. Let me show you what I mean. See? Close to bedrock. some room for the sinks. It's gonna be the boys' bathroom. You really need urinals. Research has actually shown that both genders should actually sit down to pee. So, I'm not gonna even bother putting urinals. And ain't, I didn't even bother to put any urinals in the bathrooms, at any of the bathrooms.
Now, girls shower. Imagine it's gonna smell like boiled underwear in the boys' bathroom. I can't really think of what to say right now, because yeah. I'm just this is a labor of love, man. Oh, shit. Now again, I'm gonna put a recessed tub on the second floor as well, just as I did for the first floor. As soon as I'm done with the boys' bath area, I'm gonna put some doors there and some toilets such it's for the this dormitory is for the older kids As I said, as soon as I'm done with the... Yeah. Now to finish off the girls' shower. I'm gonna do the second floor off camera later. Probably when I get home. Probably not gonna record very much while I'm out on holiday. Let's go ahead and, now as I said, you can only dig so far down when you have a really, really flat world. And let's add some, yeah, I really did not think this through. And since it's, this is going to be the girls' shower, yeah, this is going to be the girls' bath. Pretty much going to add some, uh, yeah, redstone because you can't really have... I'm not sure what block makes pink. So let's go ahead and... You know, what's interesting about colors and gender is 
It used to be the other way around. Pink was considered a boy's color. Blue was considered a girl's color. It had something to do with the reference, you know, referencing the Virgin Mary and all. You know what? Let me fix this real quick. Now, as I was as I was saying, oh crap! Now, as I was saying, blue used to be a girl's color because of the reference of the Virgin Mary. Red used to be a boy's color, but since the 1940s, that pretty much shifted. Pretty much shifted. So nowadays. Pink is considered a girl's color, and or anything associated with red or pink is considered a girl's color, and uh, and blue is considered more of a masculine color, which is bullshit in my opinion. Color shouldn't matter. There are many videos about this, and I will link you to them in the description box below. And you know what? I think I'm going to seal this area off and as it's prepping to save. I'm going to seal the second floor off too. But before I do that, I'm going to go upstairs and do the same thing and I think there's another zombie at the door. Ah, it's not a zombie, it's a spider. Die, you spider! Now again, I haven't finished yet. I'm gonna finish this room, and then I'm gonna seal off the rest of the place. In case, yeah. Now, I'm not sure why I had these rooms in particular with iron bars. Maybe it's to keep the bad kids. Maybe it's for the girls that are wanting to be nuns or something because, you know... I could have just left that there and made it to be an AC unit. You know, the ones that stick out the window? Put some panes of glass there. You feel my pain now? <laughs> and some iron bars. made iron doors with... Ah, oh, shit. No. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and seal this. I'm gonna finish off this part and seal off the, the unfinished area. Smell like boiled underwear. gonna try to record with OBS but I would have to have in the Windows version of OBS you could actually access your Elgato game capture without actually opening the Elgato game capture software but I have to do it with ScreenFlow now you might see this 
which is why you're probably seeing this ugly ass watermark because if I record directly with the Elgato game capture software the audio and video will be out of sync and I'm not gonna go through the trouble of ah shit seal this place off real quick oh no are you kidding me church. I bet these things smell like boiled underwear too. Ah. How did the zombie get in the confessional? That's why it was smelling like boiled underwear. I should put some panes of windows there. That way those boiled underwear smelling zombies won't come over. There. Now it won't smell so much like boiled underwear. I keep on saying that for some reason. What obsession do I have with boiled underwear anyway? Baptismal font. No. Let's put a cauldron here for another baptismal font. There. How does that look? <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Did I seal the uh, second floor? Yeah, I sure did. I sure did seal the second floor. Did I put any? Okay, good. Now, before I stop the video, I'm gonna go ahead and put some beds in the rooms. So, yeah. That way the mongoloid... Uh, that way the kids will have some places to sleep. bed here. I just hope they don't explode. Okay.
what's wrong with this thing. I'll just put it to bed here. Let's do something about this bed. Get rid of it. Put it here. I think. Okay. Put a bed there. Better. Now let's do the same thing for the first floor. That's the priest's office. Put a bed here. Put a bed here. Oh, yeah. Boys' bathroom. Okay, that area is sealed off now. So, all right, moving on. Same thing for the second floor. recording for a good while. We'll go outside and see how the whole building looks so far. Okay guys, how does this look so far? Not quite finished, isn't it? Okay, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. I'm going to save my game. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here because we are out of time. Thanks for watching Walk Me Through. I'm Mr. Orthopedia saying peace, and that's a wrap. See you soon.